but I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted, so they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. They're gonna bury you in a Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I could swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the Kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, there, even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Graves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead too and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Hart, just like I remember. Robert Ollinger appeared with his terrible double-barrel shotgun.
Ghost Army was stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. of the Garden of the Dead. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed. Each one deader than the next. And I thought I would go crazy. Thought. Saw Harry Alonzo Longabar. The Sundance Kid? Like a general leading his Legion of the Dead. You told us before that you'd see him alive. He was alive. to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, a.k.a. Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. 
Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked them about Bob Bryant, but they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. Etta's mine. And so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. <laughs>